Hey everybody and welcome to Fears to Fathom. This is an episodic horror game where each episode is about 20 minutes-ish and they're all, uh, they're all psychological horror games, pretty much. Very small horror games. Fears to Fathom, here you go. Uh, where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You're playing episode one, more episodes are coming soon. Episode playtime about 20 minutes. We're going to be playing Home Alone. Fears to Fathom. Episode 1, Home Alone, July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't know where to start. It's used my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. Okay. So I believe this is about a home invasion. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Okay. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around that time. Aunt Azul. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though, I did plan on fixing that. Well, we all say that. <clears throat> Never happens. Never happens. Okay. That is an awful alarm. Oh. I woke up around 8 after a nap that evening. <clears throat> okay. I had left a plate on the side of my dresser because why not? And I sat down at my chair. <clears throat> Uh, I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right now. Mm, okay, I guess. So I decided to open the door. Escape to read the messages. <clears throat> uh, Dad, I may be back. Uh, wait, when are you guys coming back? Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Don't, didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check. It's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mum. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, Mum? I'm 14. Think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably order some pizza, yes. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. This is Mason. Yo, yo. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yes, heard Josh coming too. What about you? I don't know. What's wrong? Weren't you going to see her yesterday? She didn't show up. It's like I don't even matter to her. You man, unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then your energy. What? I guess it's energy then. How's chem? Yeah, crap, I totally forgot about. I'm uh, probably going to do it tonight, a little same. My parents are out for the night. Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. I'll call Josh too. I can't promise dude may have plans for that. Okay. So I went downstairs. Into the kitchen. Oh. Um. Oh my god. Okay. To get some food. Wasn't I hungry? Hello? Was I hungry? Uh, am I not supposed to get food? Ah. Ah, yes. I mean, this is not exactly food, I guess, but. What am I doing? 
Oh, no! Didn't have dishes to wash. Can I? Didn't have dishes to wash. Okay, cool. What am I supposed to be doing? I thought I was supposed to be... I probably should have closed the refrigerator's door. So, and so I did. Yeah. Is that something? No, okay. And then what? I watch some TV? I feel like this is probably not what he did. Uh, okay. So, I got this. How do I, like, get rid of this? Uh, oh. Actually, can I? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, ah, but, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going back upstairs. Going back to my room. Uh, I had something to eat first. Hmm? Okay, but how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? I need to warm the food up. How do I get rid of this? I need this food, man. How do I... Help. Da -da. Ah! G! It's G! Jesus Christ. Alright. Food was heating up. And I shot the fridge. Food was still heating up. Okay. Ah, the food. Food was nice and hot. I liked watching TV whilst I ate. Yes, I agree. Let's go watch some TV whilst we hold this piping hot lasagna that's just come out of the thing. I like watching T. Oops. Oops. Ah. Num num. Num num. Num num. <laughs> num num. Who eats this quarter time? I was feeling very sleepy after eating food. Um, what's that? Mason Oliver. Oh, we're gonna have to cool it off, man. Something just came up. But gotta come out just this one. What was that? What was that? Oh yeah, G. There we go. I'm sorry, Mars. Gotta see you tomorrow. What is that noise? That's gonna. I don't know. I remember I had homework to do before going to bed. Yes. What is that noise? Couldn't focus because 
Die kannst du erst wissen, ja. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do my homework. What up? What up? Twelve thirty-eight a.m. I have now finished my homework. I got done with my homework for the day in about a few hours. Lovely. And then I decided to go to bed. Oh. Uh, don't stay out too late, kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Parlor this time. Yes. Um. Also, it's just one. I'm sorry, Mars. I've got to see you tomorrow. Don't forget Cam, though. Child, do it all good. I'll probably just go back to bed after Cam. Okay. So he's going to bed now. One sixteen a.m. I got up for some water. I'm going to go back to my room. Yoink. I've drunk some water. Uh, Mars, who's that at the door? You there? God, there's somebody here. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every room, every door, and hide. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. How do I lock the doors? Well, I don't want to do that, do I? I want to hide upstairs, then, I guess. Can I hide in any anywhere in here? Nope. Can I hide anywhere in here? Ah yes, click to hide. Wait, where was it? Oh no. Um. Um. Click to hide. Oh, underneath the bed. Yes. <clears throat> you kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door. Who is he? Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mum's so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Um, no. 
How about hit no? Do you hear her? It's pulled out the door. Mum is so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be alright. No, I'm not answering the door. Yeah, you got you got nothing coming. I'm staying here. I'm gonna be safe. And I can guarantee you it definitely wasn't Paula. Because that what uh no. Why can't I type back, man? I'm telling you, that was not Paula. Um, that was a bold guy. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. That definitely wasn't Paula. Go away. Nobody's allowed in here. This is a child's room. I'm staying put. I was told to stay in the bedroom and hide under the bed. There's you kids, though. I'm the only one here. I was going to say it stopped, but it didn't. I'm not coming out. Sorry. No. Maybe I am supposed to come out. Hmm. I was going to say it seemed to have stopped, but it hasn't. And I don't know why. No one is here. It's, it's, it's not changing. Maybe I should uh, go and have a look. Actually, I'm just going to hide here. No, it looks like I have to. Oh, I think he's in here. I think there's somebody here. I think he's in the house. I heard... I heard the creakings. I heard creaking. Nope. 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 There was somebody there. That... 
I saw somebody come out. I ain't getting back up again. Is that the police? Huh. What does that mean? The game bar Survivor! <gasps> I've survived! The police are here! Oh. They've saved me. I bet if I go out there, I'll just die. I don't want to actually. <laughs> I survived the night. Well, that was Fears to Fathom. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!